Hey, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a real quick review on the Frasali um, four pack that I picked up from Sephora last week. So as you guys know, um, if you watch my previous video, I picked up this four pack of the Frasali Skin Goals um, <clears throat> kit. I picked it up for $25 at Sephora, Sephora and it gave me four different um, opportunities to try their Skin Goals line. So um, there was the Skin Tune Blur, um, the Unicorn Essence Prime, the Rose Gold Elixir Hydrate, as well as the Volcanic Elixir Nourish. So I've tried all four of these products and I want to talk to you a little bit about them. I know my box empty, but the product's right here. So um, the first one that I want to talk about is the Skin Tune Blur Smooth, and that's the one in the green bottle. So I use this one when I were when I prepped my face before I put my makeup on, and um, I felt like it did exactly what it said it was going to do. I felt like you know I get you know um, in my T zones right here is where I need a little bit of the blur. Um, from my pores um, if you have large pores um, or if you have yeah if you have large pores then that is what this product does it blends and smooths out your pores so that your makeup will lay nicely your foundation will lay nicely on top of your skin without sinking into your pores I feel like this product delivered on exactly what it said um, what I think is really cool about these this test kit is you get a couple of days um, worth of trying. This product looks just like any primer would. It has a white uh, milky like consistency. Has a very light hint of a smell but I was pretty pleased with this product. If I was um, going to spend some money and do some purchasing this might be one that I would consider. Oh I'm real close. Got y'all all in my fresh face grill. Um, Second one is the Unicorn Essence Prime. This one says that it is applied a, a, a clean face before moisturizing. Maybe used as a primer before makeup application. Sorry. This one. This is the purple one. Okay, so this one I tried. And let me just show you first off, the way this one smells is divine. It smells so good. It's a pretty pink color and it smells like it looks. It smells like it smells like cotton candy. It is a looser consistency, as you can see. Um, and I felt like this one laid really nicely on my skin. Um, wasn't too heavy, didn't have an oily feel. Um, wasn't as it didn't dry as powdery as this one did. This one dries pretty powdery. Um, it didn't dry as powdery as this one did. But it did feel like I had um, a moisture on my face that actually sunk into my skin. So this one, um, I would have to say on a scale of 1 to 10 as working as maybe like a primer or um, a serum, I would score probably um, an 8, I guess. And mind you, I am not an expert on all things primer, but um, I don't think of it as a primer before makeup but i do feel like it felt good on my face maybe as a serum something if i'm going for um a no makeup look like no makeup not like a make no makeup makeup look but like a no makeup look i would probably put it on my skin for brightening um next is the rose gold elixir hydrate this one is in the white bottle okay so <clears throat> Hey, Rose Gold. Okay, so um, I was really excited because I'm a Rose Gold fanatic. I love anything Rose Gold. Um, and I was not happy with this product. Um, this product has um, rose, it has flakes, gold flakes. I don't know if you can see, it has gold flakes in the product. And it is, it has an kind of an oily texture. Um, I put it on my face. Um, it says that um, <clears throat> rose gold elixir direction apply to a clean face before moisturizer may be used as a primer before makeup application. Let me just tell you, don't put this on before your makeup. <laughs> this did not work for me. I was like an oily grease ball all day. 
I was shiny. I'll put this on now. Mind you, I do wear a tinted moisturizer. Um, and so I feel like I could put this on my naked skin, put on my tinted moisturizer, put on my powder like I would normally do, um, and then go about my day after, you know, every, doing my eyes and everything else. I was so greasy and shiny. I felt like a, a turkey, like a butterball turkey. I was so oily. I felt like an oil slick. I felt like it was just oozing from me. Hold on. I got some pictures. Let me pop in a picture real quick. Okay, so this for me is a no. Um, I have um, some oil in my skin, in my T-zones. You know, I get oily. I get oily a little bit um, here in my crink, in my wrinkles here. Um, I stay pretty dry around other areas, but I was, as you can see, I was a straight up grease ball. And this one is a no for me, um, just because of the oil in my skin, putting it underneath um, my, my tinted moisturizer. I mean, everything just, it, I felt like it soaked up all of the color. In my makeup um, and it's not a heavy it's not a heavy color anyway like it's a tinted moisturizer that I use so it's not heavy anyway and that product is by Bobbi Brown but that just soaked up any I was just greasy I feel like I probably could have had a Jerry girl I was greasy so that one is a no for me next up is this one the black bottle this is the volcano elixir and this one says uh nourish um it says directions shake well before use apply to face and neck can be used day or night so what i was thinking is this one is really going to do what it says nourish something that you will put on before you go to bed um so that you can uh, it can absorb into your skin all night you can wake up in the morning feeling the benefits of it let me just tell you this is thick this one, as you can see, has a yellow color, really yellow kind of oil color. Um, as it comes out of the dropper, it's a little bit thicker. Um, out of all the products, it's the thickest one. And I put it on at night and I did feel extra greasy, felt extra oily. Um, but when I woke up the next morning, my skin felt nice and moisturized, plump and supple. So... I think this one does what it says it does. I have enough in this bottle. Like I said, it's enough to test it out for probably an entire week. I'm not going to put it on in the morning, but um, I will be putting this on every night to see kind of after a week what the effects are. How do I feel overall my skin is doing after trying this product? Um, as a matter of fact, my face is clean. I haven't put on any moisture. As you know, this is my rose water. Um, this, is, this is what I spray on my face constantly. So I got that on my face and I don't have my fan in here to dry me off, but we'll do this <laughs> to get um, that kind of dry on my skin. And in traditional YouTube fashion, I'm going to try this product. Um, I do have the roller ball, um, you know, the, the, what is it? Quartz, um, where I roll that on my skin, uh, where I roll products like this on my skin, um, at night, but I do not, I'm not gonna lie. I don't do that every night. I ain't got time for that. Okay. Most instances, I'm just putting some kids to bed, um, trying to finish up the kitchen, um, trying to get my husband settled cause he trying to get my time. And so when I have a self-care night or two, then that is when I put, uh, I use the, the quartz, um, roll, um, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. So I'm working this product in, not forgetting my neck. Y'all don't forget your neck. Like that's one thing I learned from my mom, um, is that a woman's age can be told by her neck if she doesn't take special care to also include her neck and the skin in her neck in her um, routine. So don't forget the neck. Um, as you can see, this product is laying on my skin um, pretty heavy. I'm glistening, right? But as before, once I work this product in, um, in the morning, it had completely soaked into my skin and my skin felt really good. 
I'm really working on my skin, y'all. I'm entering a different um, generation, a different, not generation, a different um, decade of my life. And I have never had any problems with my skin and my skin waited until this decade to decide it wanted to have an issue. So when they tell you to take care of your skin when you're younger, do so. Um, because yeah, it'll come back and get you. Anyway, so I've got this worked into my skin and um, I'm going to leave that on. I'm not going to put a moisturizer on top of that. It would just, I wouldn't be able to sleep. The pillow would be upset. My husband would be greasy. Like it would just be too much. I'm just going to leave this on. Um, I also use this. Um, it is a, did y'all know that Neosporin has a overnight lip balm? This is what I've been using. It's a tube. It's Neosporin Overnight Lip Balm. Um, I picked this up at my local drugstore, CVS. And so um, it goes on white. If you can see that, it goes on white. Um, and you can actually feel and see this melting into your lips. So put that on. I'm just greasy everywhere. I get so lips everything. Just grease ball. Anyway, so um, that is my review of the Frasali. I, am I saying that right? The Frasali um, products. Again, I would suggest you try it. $25 and you get to try four of the products. Like that's like, a, you can't beat that deal. And it's enough in each one of the little bottles to give you, like I said, a week's worth of application time, of applications, right? Um, so that's my quick review of that. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe, and comment, please, if you haven't done so already. Or if you did follow me and then you don't follow me and now you want to follow me again, then I suggest you do that as well. Okay? All right. Thanks so much. Peace. God bless.